what's up? It's Nikita back again with a new video. And today, those cars are really loud. I don't know if it's picking it up, but there was like three cars that just went by that was so loud. But yeah, today we are doing a basic hand tutorial. Oh, this is what I get for being outside. <laughs> but yeah. So, we're doing a basic hand tutorial from reference today. Um, I think I'll, like, insert a picture of what my original reference was. Um, basically, I'm gonna start out with, um, what my final drawing, like, in my sketchbook would look like. It's not colored or anything, it's just, like, basic shading and line art. Um, and then I go into three steps on how I do it. Um, starting with, like, getting down basic shapes. The second step is defining shapes, like, drawing out the actual shape of the fingers, um, etc. And then step three is adding details and finishing up the sketch. Um, after that, step, like, four or five, technically, um, which I didn't really go into that, would be shading, coloring, and just, like, finishing it up, cleaning it up even more. Um, so, I'm just gonna roll the clip, see y'all in the outro. Okay, so this is a little reference photo. This is the photo I took when I was on the hiking trail a few days ago. Um, and I just thought it'd be fun to draw because of how I'm holding the little walking stick I had and how I was holding the water bottle. Up in the top corner, you can see the first picture I drew. Um, and right in the upper right corner is where I'm going to start to draw things out. Um, so right now I'm just writing the little one up in the corner of where I'm about to draw the first step. Um, and you can see me kind of referring to my little side picture that I had drawn before because I didn't have my reference in front of me anymore. As you know, I record on my phone. So I was using my original drawing as my reference. Um... So, I started with a little, like, trapezoid for the wrist and arm area of the hand. Um, and then, obviously, you can draw what seems most important to draw to you first. But I tend to start with the wrist. It's a good base for me. Then I moved up to the thumb because it's a big area of the hand, the, like whole like chunk below your thumb and then I went on to the rest of the palm that was showing so I could have a good little layout for where the bulk of my hand is. After that I drew in the stick because that's really that's really just what was like right next to the area that I had drawn before um, and this way I know how far my fingers are going to go. Sorry that was just me adjusting the camera. Um, I do that a few times because I actually don't have a tripod. I was holding my camera with one hand and drawing with the other. So, sorry if it's a little bit shaky or if there's anything like that. Um, and right here, I start to draw my actual thumb. I did draw out the actual shape of it, um, straight off. But, as I said earlier in the intro, this is just, um... This is just the basic layout of things. I do get a little bit in detail with it, but not really that much. Um, so what I'm doing now, it is a little light. I am going to darken it up a little bit later on. But what I'm doing now is just drawing where most of my fingers are. Because the way that hands naturally are, your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger tend to stay together and your pointer finger go, goes on its own way. So you draw the mass of those three fingers and then whatever your pointer finger is doing. Or if your pinky is the outlier finger. Whatever the finger that is kind of not with the mass. You should still draw that in at this point. Um, as you see right now I'm just making everything a little bit darker. So, so that you guys can just see it better if it was a little bit too light or anything like that. And, um, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a close-up, but I'm not really sure. Sorry if there's any noise in the background. Um, I have family home. Sorry about that. 
but yeah as soon as I'm done um, making the outline a little bit darker I'm going to move on to the second step so yeah <laughs> also sorry if the um, like if the voice recording is a little bit weird I still I still haven't done a voiceover yet this is my first one um, if you have any tips or anything, if you don't like how it sounds, just, you know, make sure to leave them in the comment section, sorry, in the comment section. Um, also, if you do want to see more videos like this, make sure to tell me, um, make sure to like this so I know that this is something that you guys like to see. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go into the second, the second step. And this part is more about getting... It's more about getting the outline done, since we already have everything laid out so well. Um, it's more about defining what you see. So right now, you can see I'm just redrawing it. I did mess up, which is fine. That's a completely normal part of the drawing process. Everyone makes mistakes. It's okay to erase. It's okay to go back and retry things. Um, art is really trial and error when you're learning, because everyone has their own way of doing it, everything. Um, I think what I had done is I drew it up too high and too big, um, if I remember right. This was a few days ago when I recorded this. Um, again, sorry if the video is a little bit shaky. Um, I was outside, like I said before, I was holding the camera, so very sorry about that. Um, so right now you're kind of just seeing me doing the same process I did before. I didn't want to keep doing everything over the same part just in case anyone wanted to continue to see the steps, but I do combine these last two steps together. Um, sorry about that. If you wanted to see a better chart, I can probably make one in the future if you would like. Um, but yeah. Um, and y'all can probably tell each drawing is just a little bit different even in the base and that's fine as long as you get the point across nothing is going to be perfect as long as the end result looks the way that you want it to the process to getting there well as long as you don't do like as long as you aren't like messing up which is also fine because again like I said it's trial and error um it's really fine if it's different each time that you do it because it helps you define your style and it helps you learn what might be a mistake to you or what might be good to you. So yeah. <laughs> um, this uh, little third drawing I did, I don't know why I made it so big compared to the others though. Um, that was actually an accident. <laughs> But it's fine, um, especially since it's going to be kind of the final product that I show for you guys. Um, and there's going to be a lot more erasing in this step because I used, I used more like geometrical shapes in my planning. Again, sorry for the camera movement. Um, my hand was getting tired. Um, you know, I was holding the camera up like this for about nine minutes at this point. <laughs> And everything is in real time as I draw it. So for me, this is a quick sketch, but I've been drawing since I was in kindergarten. I've been drawing since before that even. So if you're not at this step, if you're not at like this level, that's fine. That's your progress. And you're probably doing so good. Like I'm still learning. And if you're watching this, you're probably still learning. Um, and I hope that these, that this really helps you out. Um, but yeah, what I'm doing right now is I redefined the shape of the pointer finger. I drew in where the knuckles will go for the three fingers that I had drawn all together. And I'm starting to define where they're actually going to be. Um, so you can actually tell more that this is a hand. Um... And I don't think I drew fingernails at this point. I think I left that for the third step. Um, but the reason I do, as you'll see, the reason I do keep the second and third step together in this is because, well, for one thing, I didn't want to redraw it <laughs> for a fourth time. And for another thing, 
it's not, I don't really think of it as doing like multiple steps while I'm drawing. I just kind of, it all flows together, especially with the defining the details and making sure that everything is how I want it to look. Um, and I have a more sketchy kind of art style. So while I'm defining the lines of this and while I'm making sure you can tell where each individual finger is, I might start drawing in finer lines or I might start drawing in fingernails. At this step, you're also probably going to want to erase your guidelines that you made at the beginning. And as you can see, it's been about a minute of drawing and you can already tell more what this is supposed to be. You can see the definition of the hand. You can see that the fingers are wrapped around what it's holding. Um, but what I didn't focus on as much in this drawing is what I'm holding. Um, in the picture I drew initially, you can tell what each individual thing is. But in this one, it, I was more focused on getting the shape of the fingers down. Um, just for the purposes of the tutorial, I didn't really care about what I was holding. Um, even though that was one of the reasons that I drew the first picture. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see I am doing a little bit of definition on the stick and the jug that I was holding from the original picture. Um, if you don't remember what that looks like, you can always just go back to the beginning. You can even use this as a reference if you want. If you do, um, if you do want to like redraw this picture, I would love to see that. Like, tag me on Instagram if you do that. Um, I'll make sure to leave my socials in the description. Like, I would really, really love to see, like, how you draw this in your style. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still just defining the shape of this and everything. Um, right now, I'm going back into the wrist and arm area one thing I do want to say about this is make sure that you draw the wrist bone you can see that I did that I get a little bit closer right here um like one important thing about hands no matter really what style you have is keep anatomy in mind make sure that the wrist isn't just like flat and blending straight into the hand there are wrist bones um, and most people that will protrude a little bit. So just draw that little bump between the hand and the wrist. Um, what I'm going into now, sorry, <laughs> is the third step. I'm drawing in fingernails. I'm drawing in lines near the knuckles and everything. Um, in the original picture, I was wearing a little flower ring that I had made earlier that day on my hike. And I'm, I am drawing that in on this last little step that I include here. Um, like I said before, I'm not going to be including shading or anything in this. So if you do want to see how I shade things, make sure to leave that in the comments. Like I said about a few other things, anything that you would like me to elaborate on, um, I should probably be able to answer that. Sorry if anything isn't clear. Hopefully you can see what I mean when I'm explaining things for anything that I'm not explaining too well. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm drawing the fingernails right now. And you can see um, I go over it kind of a lot. I do erase sometimes if it's not exactly the shape I wanted because I did want to have kind of a ovally kind of shape, if that makes sense. Um where like the for the cuticle area I did want to keep it pretty like round also there was in this part right here you can see like obviously I'm outside you can see I'm like on a little stone bench outside um there was this fly that was bothering me for like five minutes even though you can't see it on camera anymore it was still just flying around the side of my hand and that's part of why I moved the camera again very sorry about that but also I did want to I was almost finished at this point <laughs> but yeah um I just thought that was so funny after the fact while I was doing it it was really annoying but yeah um this the third the third step that I did it was just me drawing mostly fingernails the smaller details on the hands because this 
for me is just a little outline. Um, I do my outline sketches a lot. Um, and sometimes I do consider them to be like a finished work. Um, especially in my sketchbook, I do a lot of outlines and stuff. Um, if you do want to shade this, you can lightly erase if you don't like having outlines in your pictures as much. I know that is one thing I don't do a lot. Um, I don't like having outlines. Sorry if that was unclear. Sorry about that. Um, but I'll erase lightly what I drew as my outline and then shade. Um, but if you do like outlines, you can just shade within what you've drawn. Um, what I'm writing down right here, I think I do get a little bit closer, but it's just me writing out the steps that I took to drew to the steps that I took to draw this, sorry. Um, which I have for the most part explained and hopefully you understood while you were watching. Um, I'm just not realizing I didn't really erase everything exactly how I should have, but that's fine. Um, this was just a sketchbook drawing. This was like a little study draw that I wanted to do. And that's, if you're following this tutorial, that's probably what you're doing too. It doesn't have to be perfect, but define it and refine it however you see fit. Um, I, I think this should be helpful for anyone of, that draws any style. Um, don't try to like do someone else's style. Make sure that you are trying to define your own. Um, but hopefully these steps helped you to understand more about how to draw a hand, especially since you can see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, like I said, right here, I'm just writing out what I did for some reason. I don't know why I wrote it out, but, um, you guys can still see it. As you see, this fly is still there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so- ooh, honey, that was not cute. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this little t this little basic hand tutorial um, from, like, if you're using a reference. Um, if you like this, make sure to like, comment. If you want to see more of these, tell me down below in the comment section. Um, subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure that you hit the bell notification, the bell, the notification bell button. Y'all know what I mean. I don't know why I said that so weird. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.